Hello students. We shall now learn the one mark questions under the topic transportation problem. The first question is a feasible solution is said to be an dash solution if it minimizes the total transportation cost. So now in transportation problem the solution that minimizes the problem is known as the optimal solution. So the answer for this question is optimal solution. So therefore the a feasible solution is said to be an optimal solution if it minimizes the total transportation cost. The second question is a basic feasible solution that contains less than dash non-negative allocations is said to be degenerate basic feasible solution. So now then if the number of allocations is, le is lesser than m plus n negative 1 then the solution is said to be a degenerate basic feasible solution. This can be lesser than. They, uh, but if it is equal to m plus n negative 1 then it will be a non-degenerate non basic feasible solution. So now here we have a basic feasible solution that contains less than dash non-negative allocations is said to be degenerate basic feasible solution and this uh, and so the answer is m plus n negative 1 where m is, is the number of rows n is the number of columns so uh, this is the answer the next question is the northwest corner rule is used to find dash in a transportation problem so this northwest corner rule is used to find the initial basic feasible solution for a trans transportation problem and so the answer will be initial basic feasible solution in a transportation problem next question is a transportation problem is said to be balanced if dash so in a transportation problem if the total supply is equal to the total demand then the problem is said to be a balanced transportation problem so this is the answer the next question is row wise and column wise difference between two minimum cost is calculated under dash method so in Ogle's approximation method, we find the penalty where we take the difference between the two minimum cost row wise we do that and column wise also we do. After that only we proceed the problem. So it is calculated in Ogle's approximation method and so the answer is V O G E L apostrophe S Ogle's approximation. Approxy method so Ogle's approximation method and you can also say it as VAM method okay that is VAM yes the next question is the dash in a transportation problem is introduced to satisfy the rim conditions so what are rim conditions that is in order to solve a balance I mean a transportation problem first we have to check whether it is balanced or unbalanced so while checking that we will be checking for total demand and total supply if they are equal they are said to be a balanced transportation problem if they are not equal then it will be an unbalanced transportation problem so if the total supply and total demand are not equal then we try to make it equal by introducing a dummy source or a dummy destination in order to satisfy the rim conditions so therefore the uh, solution for this will be the dummy source or a dummy destination in a transportation problem is introduced to satisfy the rim conditions. So if the rim conditions are not satisfied then we introduce a dummy source or a dummy destination. The next question is dash deals with moving a commodity from yum sources to end destinations. 
so whenever we want to transport goods from yum sources to end destinations we deal with transportation problem so transportation problem deals with moving a commodity from yum sources to end destinations the next question is if the number of allocations is equal to m plus n negative 1 then the solution is dash so now here the number of allocations is said to be equal so when we see this word equal then it is equal to m plus n negative 1 then definitely it has to be a non degenerate solution okay so this is a non degenerate solution but if it is lesser than m plus n negative 1 then it will be a degenerate uh, solution so this is the difference between degenerate and non degenerate solution so if the number of allocations is equal to m plus n negative 1 then the solution is non degenerate the next question is the dash problem is a distribution problem so what is the distribution problem we are we will be distributing m sources to n destinations so the distribution problem is the transportation problem so transportation problem so these are the different forms in which a question may be asked in transportation okay the next question is the destination is also known as dash so in a transportation problem we have sources and we have destinations in which the destination is also known as demand or it can also be known as requirement so remember this the destination are also known as demand or requirement hope you have uh, understood all the uh, one mark questions in our next video we will see the remaining one mark questions from this unit thank you